All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fellow fish and accomplices, it is that time again. Good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we are in early August right now and we are doing our thing. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've had a successful, and I use that term loosely, fishing outing. Of course, any day you get out to success, but uh, I went upstate last week and it was all right. I got some, some, actually I didn't catch anything. I didn't fish much, but I had some action, but nothing I was enthusiastic enough to make a video about. So that's why I had a little hiatus from saltwater fishing, though it might not seem it depending on how I'm posting these. But we are back at it today. Uh, it is a weekend. And while it is early, I'm actually gonna hit up the sound today because I just don't have it in me to go to the South Shore today. Uh, I will be going back there soon, just not on a weekend, not today with the full moon tide kind of waning out. Uh, but yeah, today we are going to the Western Sound on the Connecticut side. You know what that means if you watch the channel. Uh, we're gonna be looking for tog. Uh, if you don't know, there is a limited tog season in Connecticut, July and August. Uh, you're allowed to keep two at 16 inches. Um, so we're going to try and make good on that. We got crabs. Uh, we might also be looking at sea bass if the tog bite, either we get what we want right away or it's not happening. Um, very similar sea bass regulations, but it's actually 16 inches there and you can actually keep five though. I can't see any world where I get a limit of sea bass today, uh, even a New York limit. Uh, and finally there's fluke and other things that could show up as well. So tog's the main priority, everything else would be a bonus and that is the plan. So hopefully it is what you're looking to see and hopefully it's something you can stand. Stay tuned, you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. Okay, first spot, rolling up for some tog. Got some shore crabs. I got two containers of them. One that's predominantly dead and one that's predominantly alive. Why dead you ask? Well, originally I was going to go fishing yesterday, but the weather was a little bit uncertain. So I decided to wait until today. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to try the dead ones first and see if they'll hit them. I don't find tog to be too picky. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind is that this time of year they run very shallow. So, or can run very shallow. Um, noticing what looks like some stripers down there too, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hooked up with some of them. Let's see how it goes. Well, these fish definitely don't care that the crabs are dead, so that's good news. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. All right, just got our first little tog, a tiny baby, but it's to be expected. Let's keep pushing. That's better. Not much, oh, big porgy. Not that big. Keeper, but nothing special. So the lesson I'm kind of learning with these shore crabs when they're dead is that the fish will bite them, but they just do not stay on the hook very well. Uh, like you'll get nipped and they'll never fully take because they'll rip it off the hook before it gets to that point a lot of the times. Like right now I'm getting bit. There we go, that's the exception. It's a porgy. No, it's a tug. But yeah, a lot of them will never get to the point of fully taking it because they'll just rip it off the hook while it's still a... Uh, getting nipped at, but I'm still going to finish these ones first. Yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, those shore crabs, the first batch I had were dead, and the tog were more than willing to hit them, as were the porgies. The problem is they just didn't stay on the hook very well, and I wanted to get through those ones before they got even worse or nastier. Um, one thing you might notice is that the tide is very, very low at this point. Um, this was the first spot I chose uh, just because it's on the way to pretty much anywhere else I fish and I definitely built up quite a bite. The only problem is a lot of the fish were pretty small. Um, this was a, a Saturday morning so one of the challenges was as the, the morning progressed there was a lot more boat traffic and even more people fishing. I did try a few other spots though they started to get a little crowded 
And the other issue is I have a few other spots I like to try around here in the shallows, but the tide was so low. And I think part of that's because of the full moon um, that it was just not ideal. Like it was almost impossible to be stealthy fishing those spots for these togs. So after a while, I just gave up on the tog and decided to do some jigging for whatever I can get on gulp. I did eventually return to tog later in the day when the tide was high as I was making my way back. And actually didn't do terribly bad. I got some much better sized fish. Still nothing legal, but I figured, you know, I'd include that just to show that it wasn't all wash for the tog. But ultimately, I did much better pursuing other fish. Well, togging was a bit of a bust, at least uh, in terms of quality. But uh, what do you expect? It's dead low tide. So we're going to switch to some jigging for fluke, sea bass, porgies, whatever. Start on the shallower side and work my way up. See how ambitious I'm feeling, see what the conditions are doing. But start kind of shallowish, 20 to 30 feet. Some nice rock piles and contour drops. Definitely tons of life here, but I'm afraid a lot of them are probably just small, smallish porgies. Getting to some jumbos, I'd stick around, but I feel like I'd connect with a few of these by now if uh, that were the case. Just feels like little guys. I'll try one round with a different profile, see what happens. Let's see if we can weed out some of that small stuff. See, a lot of these don't feel good at all. There we go. Ah, dang. How did I drop that fish? Got that time. That's gotta be a sea bass. Sea bass or big porgy. Yeah, I could tell because he came back for it. Another sea bass. Fluke. It's another fish we're looking for today. All right, let's try this area one more time with the paddle tail presentation, just to see if we can weed out some of the smaller stuff and potentially entice some of the bigger fish. Trying a little deeper now. See if there's any life on this. Done well here later in the summer. Uh, earlier this summer though, wasn't getting really anything here, so very spotty bite. But let's see if anything's moved in. Something nice. That's something really nice. Fluke. It's definitely not a porgy. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I'll take you. Oh God! Mm. Yikes! <laughs> uh. Sea bass fins, man. No joke. I don't know. He might be close. They do only have to be 16 here. I know what you're thinking. Should have left my shoes on. Shouldn't have swung them into the boat so fast. Uh, yeah, in the summer sometimes, just got to take the shoes off and let my feet breathe. Fortunately, it scabbed over pretty quick. No harm, no foul. Yeah, he's... 
just about 17. He's over 16 and a half. But honestly, I'm not going to get much beat off him, so get, get him back. All right, just got a, a legal sea bass, which is a nice uh, little bonus. Let's see if there's any more hanging out in this, this piece. Not too much of a tide right now. It's like dead low. Well, that's another one. Damn. Back down, he'll come back. Yeah, I was uh, pretty surprised to find that legal size sea bass and that other hit. Um, the tide rapidly started to build up as I was fishing, so it got a little tougher to fish this particular bottom with light weight. I eventually did wait up, but I did get a little more action uh, in the meantime. Another sea bass. It's a nice one. Feels decent. I don't think it's a sea robin. Yeah. That's another illegal one. not legal it's pretty close to legal yeah he's 17 you know what screw it if nothing else I can use this to supplement fish we already have but yeah 17 inch sea bass not terrible for the Long Island Sound one more. Yeah, 17 right down the, and they only have to be 16 in this part of the sound, in the Connecticut side. Why not? All right, if you have a keen eye, you'll note that I have a new uh, cooler bag, and this will be the first fish to go in it. Let's uh, get up on that again and try, see if we can get another uh, good sea bass. Feel bad that I let go of that first one, but whatever, there's more. All right, let's, let's try a different piece of this structure. Try and get some eyes on fish that we haven't put our jig in front of yet. Sea bass is ideal, but at this point we'll keep some legal porgies just to make this a self-contained meal of non-fluke. I'm really not looking to keep any fluke today. Though again, if I did get one, it would help make this a self-contained meal. I don't know. Not my ideal. I'd rather get tog or sea bass or potentially large porgies, but a sea bass tog meal would be ideal because we got plenty of fluke. There we go. Something. Something small. Ah, uh, yes, yes, how could we forget? How could we forget? Not invite you to the party. Right. Tide is finally starting to move, so we're gonna up the size to about three quarter to an ounce. I think this might actually even be an ounce. Might be a little bit of overkill, but I just wanna make sure I'm holding close to the bottom. It'd be really nice if we can get one more sea bass. That would be just about all I need but I'm sure since we let go of that one keeper, that was our chance. <laughs> we made the, the decision to let the other fish go and we're gonna have to live with it, but maybe not. I think it's a little sea bass. It's 
that a weak fish? What do you know? I'm getting all of them today. Little weak fish. Very cool. One more drift. If I don't get any serious hits or fish, I'm gonna go for broke, try this one spot that's way out there. It's flat, calm. Tide will help me get out there. And if that doesn't work, then we'll start quickly making our way back. It's now or never. This always happens. It's like, I don't wanna keep a borderline sea bass and then I get one that's big enough. I'm like, all right, well, let's do this. And then <laughs> can't get another one. Let's hopefully break that trend. All right, I wasn't planning on going out to the spot I'm going to right now, but I've got one sea bass and I'd really like to add to that. And I know there's a good chance there could be some good sea bass from going right now. It's like something's missing, you know? And that's, that's what could really kind of complete this and make it a worthwhile video. There's one more thing that could really help make this a worthwhile video, something missing, our seltzer of the day. Today we have a LaCroix, Mure Pepino. Uh, this is some kind of like blackberry cucumber fusion. I never thought those two would go together, but we're about to find out if it works. Okay. Well, if you like berry, uh, this is probably something you'll enjoy. Uh, if you don't, then probably steer clear of this, but definitely don't steer clear of this channel. Thank you for checking out the video. While you're here, if you can hit that like and thumbs up or uh, like and subscribe, that will greatly help. Let's see if we can make this day complete. All right, we just put some miles on. That's why the trolling motor is nice when it's working. Uh, we are pretty deep right now, 70, but we work into some structure here. And I've done very well here in the past, but when I say the past, I mean last summer. Not found much this summer, but if there were sea bass in that other piece of structure, they should definitely be here if they haven't been picked off yet. Um, potentially other things like fluke, weak fish, porgies, etc. So let's see if anyone's home. 70 feet, but it will descend to probably about 50 or even 40, if I remember, remember correctly. We got some drift, so that's helpful. If we get just one decent sea bass, it'll be worth it. Just got smacked. There we go. Knew there'd be something there. All right. Target species, not target size. Got to throw a new paddle shad on. Short sea bass in the last drift, right away, so that's a good sign. Let's try again. There we go. Feels a little strong to be a sea robin. Yep. Again, we're on the right species. Something good down there. Here we That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a fish. I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? It's fighting. It's big. It's not a striper got to get a look at this thing. If it's a sea bass, it's a giant. Might be foul hook, whatever it is, but I don't care. Hope it's, sea, hope it's a sea bass. That would make the trip. Big weak fish. Big weak fish. <laughs> and it's fouled. <laughs> And he just spit up a whole squid. Wow, look at that thing. That's a big weak fish. 
Damn, son. <laughs> Damn, son. Five. He doesn't go back down to keep him. Whew. There is a ton of life on this structure right now. And there's not even that much bait. I'm not really marking any. Like once that bait moves in, it's gonna be game over. I mean, fish everywhere. But right now it looks like sea bass, weak fish, porgies. That's the main culprits of what I'm getting. And if I could just get one nice sea bass, it would make all the difference. But it's been uh, evading my attempts so far. Getting a lot of hits, but I think they're porgies or maybe just really, really small sea bass. Definitely getting some good marks down there too, which I think are other weak fish, but they're not really school and they're just cruising. That's what I think happened with that one good one. Would not be surprised if we tied up with another one though. Oh, no! Snap me. Well, talk about a buzzkill. That was a, a really nice feeling fish for the short time it was on there. And even if it wasn't, it wasn't a small fish. Um, not only did it get off, but it also snapped me off, so I had to retie everything. Uh, but hopefully, uh, tide's still moving. Probably a weak fish. Um, hopefully, the, you know, this tide's moving, we can get on a few more before things really shut down when it goes slack. If anything, I think the tide's actually picking up a little. There we go. Little. Porgy. Not a bad one, but I don't need them. No, that's not what snapped us off. Get hit every single drift, just not connecting with a lot of them, unfortunately. There we go. Just cannot find a keeper. Now that I'm looking to keep, right back down. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Good fish. Be a sea bass. Come on. Good fish. It's got to be a weak fish, I'm guessing. Sea bass, we're in business. Yuppers. Wow. Jeez, not like that, not like that. Another solid one. Might be bigger than the other one. Twenty twenty six. <sighs> I 
just jigged up a really nice weak fish in the last one. I'm guessing that's probably the majority of the nice fish that are down here. Like there could be some probably just about keeper sized sea bass, but it seems like a lot of them are skewing small. Could be wrong. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the better sized fish have already been picked off here, but I obviously wouldn't be surprised if I saw one that was a uh, legal size here. But we're, we're okay with the weak fish. Give it a little more time. I mean, they're still biting, so we'll fish for at least another 30 minutes. Oh, already. That's another one. That might be a sea bass. Ah, uh, sea bass. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That might be a fluke. It's not feel. Yeah, it's a fluke. It doesn't feel that big anymore. Yeah. Get another out here though. Getting all the fish. It's not bad. It's probably like 17 inches. All right, just got a fluke. So I've gotten pretty much everything out here. I'm just gonna do one long drift, and maybe hit a few select pieces of structure over here and then call it a day. There is a ton of structure in this area. I mean, it, if you look at my fish finder, obviously you can see all the trails I've hit, but there's just so much bottom here that's good. Um, I only fish probably like a third of what could hold fish here. And I just want to just peek at the other side while we still have some tide. Um, once that tide switches, it's going to go slack and then it's going to move in the other direction, which will be helpful to me getting back. So just take full advantage of that. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Overall, not a bad day of fishing, particularly in the summer and August in the Western Sound. Uh, obviously, our original plan of Todd didn't do so hot, but we made the most of it. We got a, we got into a decent bite, but just a lot of dinks and i think if i had the other tide it might have been better uh additionally you know the sea bass i was surprised that they were in fairly good numbers just not very good size uh we had a fun time with them and then the weak fish kind of saved the day uh made that classic mistake of throwing back the first keeper and then getting the second one assuming the bite would continue it pretty much in terms of quality just ended right there but Whatever, that fish will keep some of my other fish good company in the freezer. Uh, we'll bring it out when we do have it to supplement a meal. Uh, but yeah, the fish are definitely starting to move in the deeper water around here. Didn't get a lot of bait, uh, didn't see a lot of bait rather in the deep water. I think a lot of that's still in pretty shallow and that's why I think a lot of the fluke are still in the shallows too. Not to say they aren't here, I got that one, but I've been doing a lot better in the shallower water for fluke uh, in the sound as of late. So just my takeaways could be different in different spots though otherwise uh pretty good not complaining happy with it how it went uh always could be better but certainly could be worse i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching see you later and goodbye from fishing